my god, wait. <laughs> Why am I so low? Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Maddie and it is April 1st today, okay? And it might be 30 degrees outside, but it's spring in my head. So I'm gonna be doing some spring cleaning. I just spent like an hour downstairs cleaning the kitchen, cleaned the floors, Adding a new dog to the family has been wonderful, but she like is so staticky. She tracks in like all of this dead, dry grass from outside in the house and our floors get so gross. I'm also gonna be cleaning my bookshelves. I noticed the other day and I will show you a close up. It is dusty. All right, look, clean finger. It's just, it's just a little dusty in there, okay? So I'm going to clean my shelves and reorganize them. Hey, will you grab the sticky notes on the stairs? Since I'm gonna reorganize them, I'm going to take sticky notes and kind of like figure out what are the biggest genres that I have and like figure out where to go. So not only am I gonna dust my shelves, I'm going to reorganize them so you guys can tag along. And I don't really think I'm gonna touch this corner. There she comes. Oh, honey. There she comes. <laughs> Hello. I do have to dust down the shelves a little bit. Dobie, look, he went up in the bathroom on the counter and grabbed that toy. Oh, he does love that toy. I know. He's really protective over it. He is. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't even. Once you strip everything, it'd be a good picture, of, like an overhead of all like the books kind of yeah. on the floor. I thought about that too. Yeah. Okay, so all I did was make these little sticky notes. So then now that I have like romanticy or like contemporary romance, now I can take those sticky notes off. Like I put them all right there and then I can reorganize like where I want them to go. Like I have Taylor Jenkins Reid and Christina Lauren and like some sad emotional romance right here. So I feel like I kind of want to combine these authors with like my Tessa Bailey, Sarah Adams or like these. I just don't know yet. So... I want to utilize some of the larger shelves that I have because I have that full one up there empty. I just don't know what I want to put up there. basically took all of my books off. I still have like that little book nook thing that I built and then all my little candles and trinkets up there. Those two bookshelves right there I'm not gonna really do anything with. That's more like um, Outlander and some historical fiction that I have right there. And then those books I really don't plan on reading. I kind of want to get rid of those. So that's part of this video too. I'm gonna go through the pile and see what books I need to keep or what I need to get rid of. And if I haven't read any of these, so if some of them didn't make it onto my TBR cart, I'm going to pull them out and put them on my TBR cart. Now that I've got them all out, I was gonna take the sticky notes. So I'm going to put Dark Romance. Dark Romance has been right here, but I'm thinking to put it, you guys can't see it, but above my light shelf. So like this one right here. Again, y'all can't see, but I'm gonna put this right here. So my Dark Romance is gonna go right there. Okay, the next biggest genre I have probably would be my adult romance slash emotional romance. So like the hard hitting books, they're a little deep, trauma, trigger warnings might be involved, but it's more contemporary. It's not like my fantasy dark romance, if that makes sense. So I'm going to put dark romance slash emotional contemporary romance books right here. I feel like those are kind of the more popular ones also. And when I'm filming, this is the shelf that usually is in the forefront of my videos. Hi, Dobie. You okay? Then I think the next one would probably be my romance, like contemporary romance shelf. I'm thinking this shelf right here. So this bottom shelf, I would say my next genre is, it's not a genre, it's an author. I have a lot of Jennifer L. Armentrout, but over here, you guys know, this is my Akatar Throne of Glass, Sarah J. Mass Shrine, plus my little Harry Potter books. 
So eventually, I feel like I could put Jennifer Armentrout over there with them. They're my favorite authors. Jennifer Armentrout's gonna still get a shelf over here. I don't know if she's gonna get a long shelf or a short one yet. Okay, let's get going. I've had my premonitions about the way that this could end. But as an optimist, I've always played my card. You've already lost if you don't even play the game. Okay, so I kind of just put them where I want them to go for right now. I have no idea if this is gonna stay how it is, but I'm just gonna start. I'm just gonna go. <laughs> is it a FICO score? Mm -hmm. I thought it was FICO. If you're putting books on a shelf, do you put the first one of the series at the bottom or the top? So it goes one, two, three, four, or one, two, three, four, five. Um, one to five. Oh. That's what I did. I did one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, okay. I think that's how I do. Damn. I know I didn't like Heartbones, and maybe someone else could get benefit out of it, you know? Sure. That's a, that's a it's cute. It's a cute cover. Yeah. Babies move beyond mainstream. And I did not like All Your Perfects. It wasn't perfect. No. It just wasn't that good. Okay, the rest I will keep. Only my favorites. I lied. You know what? I can't do that. <laughs> I don't think I want to get rid of one. It's more like a collection thing. It's like, why not Why not just collect all of her books, you know? That's what I always say about Nietzsche. I know, yeah, she's not like the best author, but she's good. Nietzsche's actually okay. really good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, see, I haven't read this one yet. So I'm gonna throw that over there. Daisy Jones. And the, and the dirty sex. No, they're not dirty. <laughs> There's not much sex in, in her books. And the, and the dirty bubble. Mm -hmm. Oh, my Christina Lloyd. Daisy Jones and a Silver Bullet Banner. See, I kind of like the idea of just like doing them like, not, no like order, just like, you know, like staggering kind of. You're talking to me, I am. I mean both. Yeah, I am them at the end of the day. <laughs> yeah. You know, I got a comment today and someone was like, I really just want to be like your friend. I saw that, I like And it. I was like, I, I'm going to respond and just be like, I want to be your friend. I'd love to be your friend. I like making new friends Let's and I'd be, be okay friends. with making friends with my internet people, you know? Yeah. Like, why, why not? Yeah. Like cartoonish cover, love story. Yeah, but the cartoonish covers you gotta look out for. In a good way? The cartoonish covers are dirty, usually. They're innocent on the outside, and then... Then they're fucking. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Maybe I should color coordinate this one shelf. Okay, so the shelf right here is kind of my like um, like romance that will will hurt your heart, you know. So like Archer's voice, wait for you, pack up the moon, um, before we were strangers, say you swear, waking Olivia, ever somewhere after, full tilt, all all in, and then a thousand boy kisses. So these ones will like break your heart. Not my heart. No, if you read them, you might be sad. Like these three give me the same energy. Like, this is second chance, this is second chance, that's not, but it still kind of gives me that same vibe. So I'm going to put these, oopsies, right here. I'm talking to them, but I'm looking at you. What's your favorite genre? <sighs> My favorite genre? Probably the dark fantasy romance. That's what I get the most out of. That's it for now. It's cute. Not my favorite. I'll probably change it up. Okay, my mystery shelf. I don't really have much to do. Like these are, these are cozy mysteries, but then it gets a little darker as the shelf goes on. So I'm gonna move these over. So like it's lighter mystery and then darker, but I don't have too much. So it, it just gets this. This is all it gets. I'm not doing anything fancy. 
with my mystery, I feel like usually I just like push one, like push them back randomly. Kind of give it like that look. That's it. Where's Finley? Right here. Oh, I couldn't see. Yeah. That's it. All right, I'm going to finish the rest of my shelves while I listen to The Rose Code. Where did I put that? By Kate Quinn. So I'm going to be listening to it on Libby while I finish the rest of these. So I'm not going to talk about them anymore, but I will do a little final overview. But I'm glad I got to clean them out and I'm going to get rid of some books, which is nice. So good cleaning day, right? And then we're going to go get dinner later. Our anniversary dinner. Yep. Okay. Okay, so this is kind of what I'm working with. I didn't have anything to put there, so I just put a little plant. These are some of the YA novels that I have either not loved or just kind of, you know, I need to finish series. Well, actually I have finished that series, I just don't own it. I haven't finished that one, I haven't finished this one. Um, I haven't finished this series either. Like these are just incomplete young adult, okay? This is kind of my miscellaneous, like I don't know what to do with these yet at all. This is my more high fantasy shelf. I can move these over there, um, but I don't want to right now. So, and then the rest of that shelf isn't filled, but I actually, it's funny, I loved this series, loved that book, and I hope that the next one comes out soon. I actually DNF'd or soft DNF'd both of these. I got like more than 50% of the way through and then just kind of like gave up. I didn't, I wasn't catching on and like, wasn't feeling it, but I've heard that they pick up towards the end. So I kind of want to come back eventually. Then we come down a shelf. This is more of my dark romance. I definitely want this shelf to grow, but for now, this is what it looks like. Then my romantic shelf. So Discovery Witches. This is the whole Dark Fever series. One of my favorite series of all time. These are the books that I bought from Kindle Unlimited. So I, I expect this shelf and this shelf to kind of combine eventually because they used to be together but like I want to buy more Kindle Unlimited romance and stuff. General fiction kind of just random. Down here again kind of a random shelf. I've got some sci-fi, dystopian, some mystery or some fantasy in there like it's just kind of random. Then my young adult duology slash like just uh, fantasy shelf like I don't know what to call that but it's the same genre okay mystery this is the little bookshelf light that i have and that is what i'm currently reading so i was listening to that i'm gonna turn the light off but then we come down here and i have my rainbow shelf which i actually really like i've never really done a rainbow shelf before but i'm really really liking it i actually kind of want to switch these two because i want this to be in the background of my videos but i don't know yet and then this shelf, I just angled some books because, like, I don't have enough to fill it up yet. So, I want more Mariana Zapata. I want more Al Kennedy, Lauren Asher. Like, this shelf will eventually fill out. Then, we come to the left and I have my darker... I, I don't know what to call this. This isn't really dark romance. It's just, like, sad romance <laughs> right there. And then Jennifer Armitrout. My From Blood and Ash, the first three books, I lent to a friend and I still haven't gotten them back yet. So, I will get them back eventually. This shelf will probably move to a bigger one. I don't know. Then, again, some... I just need more contemporary romance books and some young adult. And down here, I've got just random... Random. Like, I don't know what to, what to call those. They're just random books. And then my TBR cart. So, I'm going to add these three books to my TBR because I didn't actually read them. They were just on my shelf. So, I'm going to put those on there. And these are the books that I decided to get rid of. So... These two, actually, see, here's the thing. Like, I feel like I could read these in the future. I just don't want to. Maybe, you know, I I bought them, right? I spent money. I'm going to put them right there. Now, this one, I don't want to read. This one, I didn't like. I didn't love this book. Um, and I don't like Lucy's score. So, I actually didn't like this book either. So, both of the Lucy's score books I've read, I just didn't like. I don't like her style of writing. I think she's a little cringy. But that's just me. And then I'm also getting rid of my Katie Robert. I just don't love Katie Robert. And this book that I read was so obnoxiously horny that I didn't like it. And then this one was also just not up my up my alley with books that I like. And 
I'm gonna get rid of this the way I used to be. Um, I gave this two stars last May, I believe. It just wasn't... Uh, it's a tough topic to read about, but it just was not portrayed well at all. And then the last book that I plan to get rid of is The House of Salt and Sorrows. Such a pretty cover. Like, I wish I could keep it just for the cover, but I did not like the book. So I just don't think the style of writing is for me. Um, but these are the books that I'm going to get rid of or donate or... I mean, I'm not going to trash them, obviously. I'm going to donate them or sell them or something. So they're just going to sit probably in the corner of this room for a month or two. <laughs> but um, actually, if anyone wants them, I will send them to you. Just let me know if anyone wants. But that is it. That is the bookshelf little tour. Okay, you guys, thank you for watching. I actually really like the way I reorganized them. Like, I've got, it looks more full and, like, filled out to me but I like it so I am going to go downstairs and eat I'm hungry that took me like two hours so if you want to support me in any other way or on any other platform all of my links are down in the description below my bookstagram my instagram my goodreads my amazon wishlist all of it is down below so thank you and I will see you in the next video